Hello guys and welcome to my homeworks summer candle haul. What a wonderful So I know we just recently did my candle collection video, which you guys can go back and watch. I put it out, I think a couple weeks ago, but I did purchase some Homeworks candles. They were having a really, really good sale. And I got four candles, four four wick candles for about $14.50 each, which I think is really good. That's cheaper than I would even get them at like Home Goods or Marshalls. So I feel really good about them. So I'm really excited to show you guys the ones that I picked up. I did pick up ones that I had my eye on for a long time, and then I also picked up one kind of in preparation for fall, but I'm really excited to show you guys what I picked up, so let's get started. I will say, ignore the bed behind me. We are washing clothes today, so I have the bedding in the wash. It just looks like a white bed here, but it's just my comforter um, or my duvet insert that's left, so ignore that. But how do we feel about the orange? Okay, this is kind of the first time I've actually worn this new bodysuit from Target. And I got in the medium and you guys, I've lost a little bit of weight. It's kind of big on me now. So anyways, okay, let's get started. <laughs> okay, the first thing that I'm actually super excited about because I had been eyeing this since it came out, I wanna say last year, this is Sunday morning cereal. I'm so excited about this one. So it's basically Fruit Loops. That's the packaging. I love that they did like Fruit Loops with the milk. Oh my God, it looks so delicious. Fruit Loops were definitely a staple in my childhood breakfast, so I love it. And the fragrance notes are crushed cereal, wild cherry, ripe strawberry, and sweetened milk. So this one, the second I opened it, like I started giggling because it smells so good. It smells super good, fruity, kind of sweet, sugary, with like a little bit of like a lemon after, after scent. So I think this one's perfect for the heat of the summer because right now we are in it. Honestly, in Texas, it hasn't been that bad. As you guys know, we had a hurricane last week, so things were really weird last week. It's just been like totally rainy. Um, so it hasn't actually gotten up to 100 yet. So crossing my fingers that maybe we won't get there this year, but last year we, got, we were in the hundreds for, I wanna say a record amount of like 40 days. So not fun, <laughs> but right now it's, we're just in like the 90s and super humid, raining every other day, so. Anyways, I don't really want to do gourmands and stuff while it's hot outside. So I think this like fruity one's going to be super nice. I am so excited to have this. And honestly, the Homeworks candles for me have always been really good throwers, like pretty strong and they melt really well for me as well. So this one is a four wick. All the Homeworks candles come in like a four wick. Usually their full size ones are four wicks. You can get them in like a smaller three wick candle too, which I've actually found um, those work really well too. Okay, this next one I was looking for at Homeworks and, not Homeworks, at Home Goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls for the last couple of months, which I really haven't been in those stores a lot, but I was looking every time I was there and I did not find it. So I'm really happy that I was able to get it online. It's pistachio glazed donut. Now the packaging doesn't just look like delectable, beautiful donuts. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this one is crushed pistachio fried donut, ground nutmeg and white sugar glaze. I feel like this also would be a good like transition into fall scent just because it's a fried bakery, but the pistachio note is very strong. This is super nutty. I get a little bit of like sugar glaze, but I definitely get the pistachio. That's like the hardest hitting note on here. So I'm excited to burn this one, see how it goes. I imagine it'll be a little bit lighter just because it is like a vanilla bakery scent. So excited to have this one. I'm glad I got to pick it up. And of course a candle haul would not be a candle haul for me unless I got something coffee scented. So I did pick up Affogato Espresso, which, oh my gosh, this looks so yummy. If you guys have never had an Affogato, it is espresso and vanilla ice cream. It is so good. Or I think it's vanilla gelato. I've only ever had it at Epcot in Disney World <laughs> in the Italian um, area. And it was so good. We ate that while watching the fireworks at night and it was like the perfect cap off to the night. So totally recommend doing that if you just so happen to find yourself in Epcot. <laughs> but anyways, the notes are hot espresso, vanilla bean gelato, almond milk, and warm spices. So I really like to go for a coffee scent. I like to have one in my collection pretty much at all times because it's wonderful for working from home, which I work from home 100%, and I'll just have this going in the morning. It's also really nice on the weekends to like get up lazily and light a coffee candle and just like have that aroma going on the weekend mornings. 
This is super strong. Okay. This is very, very strong espresso. Not getting a ton of vanilla to be honest, but it does smell really good. So this smells like it's gonna be a very strong candle. It's kind of giving me Paris Cafe vibes, like really not much different than that. It's super, super strong coffee. So I'm excited to try it. I feel like this one's gonna be very strong. So I will probably burn it in like my living room kitchen area. Um, now that I live in a house, I can do that and it won't overpower my home, so that's nice. But that's El Fogato Espresso. And the last one I picked up really is kind of a transition into fall. And this one is Iced Coconut Chai. Okay, this one came out, I don't actually remember when it came out. Maybe it came out in the fall of last year, but I remember seeing this on the website and like dying over the sound of this scent. It just sounds so good. So let me read you the notes. Whipped coconut milk, spiced chai grated nutmeg and vanilla bean. Doesn't that just sound yummy? So I like the packaging here because it kind of shows, it kind of looks like a coffee, but I know it's probably just chai with some coconut milk in it, but it looks so yummy. Let's give it a sniff. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. It kind of gives that like coconutty vibe. The same one as Santorini Coast. I actually have it right here on my nightstand, but um, it gives the same coconut vibe as Santorini Coast but it definitely has those chai spices. I really get that nutmeg and ginger in here actually, more than anything else. Oh my gosh, this is going to be my favorite candle. I can already guess. This is totally up my alley. It is a milky coconut with a little bit of spice and it's so yummy. Oh my gosh, I might have to light this one up like right now. I'm so excited. So yeah, like I said, I got these for around 14, dollars each they were having like a $16.99 sale online and then I also had a 20% off um, coupon that they sent me via email you can always find 20% off coupons um, if you have like the Rac Rakuten um, extension on your computer or if you just search up homeworks candle haul and there's a lot of homeworks creators um, that will have their own coupon code I think Mr. Kong's mom for sure has one I don't know about everybody else but I know she definitely has one so if you want to go check out her her um, channel, she'll probably have it in her description, but you can pretty much always find a 15 to 20% off coupon for homeworks.com. So very happy that I was able to find that. So yeah, I did have to pay for shipping, but they were still like 14, $15 each. So I call that a win. Um, I really do like homeworks candles. I've never had one that's been bad. They always burn really well. I do notice though, since they are so wide, like they're much wider than a regular Bath and Body Works candle, it's probably only about this wide, a Bath and Body Works one. Um, you have to let them burn a little bit longer. So instead of maybe like max two hours on a Bath and Body Works candle, this one I would say like max four hours. And I would want to hit three to four hours on this one every time I burn it. Especially the first time I would want to wait until all this wax on the outside pulls out before I um, extinguish it. But yeah, that's just the thing about the homeworks candles since they're so like large, <laughs> you definitely want to have them going for a lot longer. So anyways, that's the last candle in my little haul, just four candles. I feel like that's a good amount for me. It's not necessarily like a huge haul, but it's not just one candle. Like it's satisfied my homeworks itch for probably the rest of the year. Um, unless I want to pick some up maybe around like Black Friday or something, they always have really good deals. But that's it for my homeworks haul for now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below. Have you been shopping homeworks lately? Um, are you only really ever picking them up in home goods or have you really just like stayed away from them? Let me know down below. I mean, I've always had really good luck with their scents. I've always really liked them, but I do find that it is better if I smell them in stores <laughs> or if I've had my eye on them for a while and I've watched reviews and stuff, then I know if they're gonna be good or not. But I will update you guys on how they go. I'll probably start burning them in the next couple of weeks and um, I'll post on my community tab. So if you didn't know on this channel, I do post little photos and updates and I also post shorts. So I will post like vlog shorts every now and then. So make sure you're subscribed and turn the bell on so you get notified when I upload posts and shorts. It's not just videos. So that's the fun part about, you know, YouTube like expanding into everything else, but that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!